Hello and welcome. Now let's look at another important function, first sorted value. First sorted value works very well with another advanced aggregation function we just looked at, and that's aggregate function. So let's go over the basics first, and then I'll show you an example. The function works both in script and charge. Now as opposed to aggregate function, which returns a numeric value, as we've seen in previous example, it showed its highest sales amount for a particular country or a product. First sorted value function returns associated dimension. So if you remember the last challenge we had, we were showing lowest sales order for a given product. Now if you want to know who the associated salesperson is, first sorted value function comes handy. Now it returns that value based on the short weighted range. What that means is that if there are two values that have same short weight, then the function will return null value. So for example, in the previous challenge, if we had two products that had same low sales amount, and if there were two different salespersons associated with each product, then this first sorted value will return null value for associated salesperson. Now by default, it always shows lowest value, if you want to show the highest value, you can use negative sign in front of it. So we'll look at example to show highest and lowest value. So as you see, first sort of value is pretty handy because it assigns a short weighted rank to a dimensional value that you want to associate with the agar function. So let's now dive back into our script to show how we can use first sorted value. So for instance, in this example, we have product and the lowest sales amount. So if we select any of these products, we do see this lowest order amount. Now, we do know the order ID, but what if we want to know the salesperson who was associated with this particular sale? Then we can use first sorted. So let's do that. So let's add another expression for salesperson. So I'm going to add a measure. But before I do that, I want to copy this expression. So let me go ahead and just copy the entire expression here. Okay, now we're going to add a new expression, and that will have first sorted value function. We want to show salesperson, so let's use salesperson. And the expression that we want to use is the agar function or the inner aggregation from the previous example. So that's our expression. So this will by default show the lowest sales amount and then associated salesperson. So let's apply that. Now in the validation table, we'll just add a dimension called salesperson. And now let's validate to make sure that's working. For this order, we have Margaret Peacock as the salesperson. Let's see if that's the person associated with the order, and indeed she is the person. Now let's pick another product. Robert King, Robert King here. So you saw first sorted value was very handy to show associated salesperson to the lowest order amount. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture to go over a challenge.